All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I'm just gonna do queso by himself. And I've got a couple things, and I do think with a puppy, if, if you're gonna do look where I look, do, I, honestly, I think we need to just say, either use white or contrasting. In the beginning, at least, but this is just, oh, this is the old phone holder. I thought you said it was fine yesterday. Yeah, it was fine yesterday, I don't know what happened. And then I've got this thing, and there are similarities in these objects. And then I've got the keys. Honestly, they all seem like getting the keys. So, I'm just gonna wait till he's kind of over there distracted. And I'm gonna put one in that red wagon. No, nothing, nothing going on here. Nothing going on here. All right, so let me just go sit over there and try looking. <laughs> you said, why do you spot that so fast? Because it's white. That glasses case is perfect, too. Oh, well, there you go. Yay. Oh, am adorable. All right, so I've got, I, I ordered another wagon. I'm so not sneaky. Uh, I'm gonna go put him in the house real quick, just for a sec. You said your hiding places are just, I know, I'm not good. When I do little Easter egg hunts for kids, I'm telling you, they don't like it. They don't like it. They say she's no good. All right, hang on, let me just stick him inside real quick. So I'll put it in the corner where it can't be seen as easily. I'll put, this will be kind of hard. I'll put that kind of back in the corner. And you do have to be careful though. If you if you put it there and then they thought they already looked there, they won't, they, they in their mind will say, okay, well it's not there, just like me. I'll go, no, I already looked there, it's not there. But then I still look there again, so maybe that's how Got that there. No, that's too easy. Put this like right here, and then I'll put the keys inside here, so that'll be a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so, and try looking right there. He's probably going to spot that one over there, though. Okay. No, no, that's right. I put it behind the tire. So the keys are under that footstool there. So let's see if he, and he can get them. If he goes around on that side, he won't have to go under there. My job is to hide this stuff. He's 
smells those keys in there, I think. Okay, that's kind of spooky. Oh, you little monkey. <laughs> he stuck his head in there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's, that's kind of spooky. All right, so he can't see these because they're in the corner. He's going to have to trust me. And remember, if you're going to jockey your position, I think you should do it not abruptly at all. There are times you should be abrupt, but if you're going to... You don't want them, you want, well, the reason you don't want to do it is you want them to have an intellectual process seeing you move, not a knee-jerk reaction or anything. And so. Oh, he's absolutely, oh, he'll get him out and bring him to me. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's, that's a really, really acute dog. I mean, it's really, really acute dog. And then you said, when did I start doing it? I could go back and look. Hi, Corey. Yeah, this training is crazy. You need to be trying it on all your dogs, Corey. It's, there's no words required. And if you said, why is it good? Honestly, you know, for training dogs for people, a lot, it's, it's, these people are weak handlers. You can't even find the, you know, you can't even find these trainers that aren't doing everything wrong. They're weak handlers. You've got to compensate for that somehow. All right, so but he's ready to go. All right, let me see if I can try to hide it one more time. I'm not a good hider. I'm not a good hider. If I can distract him for a second. Yay. So I can do, I know what I can do. I can go, do my second location. So I'm saying to myself, I've got this, but I also want my recall. they are than us. I mean, that's why <laughs> they'll look back and say, good God, was she that clueless? All right, I'm going to put it over here behind me. And I've got my behavior of guarding the basket. Precious, precious angel. So I'm saying to myself, though, I'm saying to myself, I want to safeguard the ability. If you said, what are you saying to yourself more than anything? Not oh, how cute it is, it's picking it up and all this stuff. But I'm saying to myself more than anything, I better safeguard the ability to have this dog bring these things in my direction. I just find them because if, if I didn't do that, there is a possibility it would be what we call the Angus, where it just decides, eh, I like playing on my own. I like solitaire. All right, so I can get this puppy to travel, though, and I don't throw things. I think you have to start out with this methodology anyway. I think once you start throwing something, now you're in a different realm, and now you're... If you said, I got it to deliver to hand and stuff, and I, I hurry, need to hurry up and add throwing it, I would say, I don't think you do. I really don't think you do. I think dropping and can't hold it. You're, getting, you're saying I'm getting my hold. So he already knows to travel to this location. So I'm just, you know, again, these are fairly... If that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen. Anyway, so now I'm installing a hold, and if you said how many times would you do that, you need to start at... Hi, Thomas! How's Tucker? You need to get Tucker doing this. If you said how many times, you should start adding your hold. 
and and safeguarding speed. And if you said why, because if they're going fast, they're if his purpose is to get to the platform, there really is not going to. He's going to keep holding on to it. Oh, he already knows to go down here. And I could. I could get him standing up on there if I wanted to. All right, watch. So I got my boom, whoops, accidental drop. Goes back. And if you said, why were you moving your legs and acting like you were walking? You're adding the movement. A dog doesn't know. It just, oh, I see it moving. It's still walking. It's going. It's going away. That's what it does. So anyway, that's where we're at. I'm going to get the other little black one out. Um, but I'm going to just tell you right now, it's, it's very, very exciting work. And I started these at four weeks old doing this. And if you said, is that behavior going to persist in this dog? There isn't any reason it wouldn't. If it had a different behavior, if it, had a, if it had a behavior when every time it picked something up, I chased after it, that behavior would persist. So the, there's no reason this behavior won't persist. All right, I'm going to wait till he travels away and then put him in the, put him in the wagon. And see if he, oh, she's watching. You know, and he's saying to himself, and he is acting with the servant's heart because he's not trying to, he's not doing it so I'll tug with it or anything like that. I mean, he's just doing it he's the place that he's doing it from is what i call the servant's heart right, he away a default of and it's not even a default i do it as that's my limitation. That's why the hell I got you picking this stuff up. My arms, my arms. You know, so it's not gimme, 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 gimme. I, I, I gave it a shot. I couldn't get it. Help me out here. That's more what they're seeing. It is not gimme, 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 gimme. And if you said you can't morph that into train retrieve. Honestly, if you give me about a year, I'm going to be able to have something I can really solidly put in writing. So it, you know, and it does take time. You've got to just keep working with dogs and figuring out what works best. Anybody that trains dogs knows that you're constantly evolving because you're always meeting dogs where I never met a dog like that. Anyway, that's his favorite thing to go into. There. All right, guys, I'll be.